Hill, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and our night of movies from Rankin Bass Productions. The movies of Rankin and Bass are best known to adults of a certain age thanks to a particularly memorable Christmas TV special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, with Burl Ives narrating. Up next, our last Rankin Bass feature of the night. It's from 1967, The Wacky World of Mother Goose. Based on the nursery rhymes and stories of Charles Perrault, a 17th century French writer considered the father of the modern fairy tale. Perrault's stories and adaptations of folk tales include Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, and Little Red Riding Hood. In the wacky world of Mother Goose, the title character must temporarily leave her fairy tale land behind to care for her sister who's sick. Mother Goose says goodbye to a number of familiar friends, including Humpty Dumpty, Jack and Jill, and Georgie Porgy. While she's away, evil Count Walk Twist sees an opportunity to seize power. Counts are treated so unfairly in movies, they almost never get to be the good guy. Princes get to be the good guy, even dukes. But counts are the evil stepbrothers of European movie nobility. To adapt these reliable characters into a cohesive screenplay, Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass turned to writer Romeo Muller. Muller was one of the company's most prolific collaborators. Romeo never had any problems with revising or changing, said Rankin, who produced the films and wrote some as well. He had no ego about what he wrote. Instead of using their signature animated style here, which they called stop motion animagic, the wacky world of Mother Goose uses traditional cell animation. It features British actress Margaret Rutherford as the voice of Mother Goose. Rutherford had just rapped playing Miss Marple in four Agatha Christie adaptations in four years. She'd also won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for the VIPs from 1963. This represented Rutherford's final film role. From 1967, directed by Jules Bass, The Wacky World of Mother Goose.
In 2001, Rankin Bass Productions made its final animated TV special, Santa Baby. Arthur Rankin Jr., who produced their films and wrote some as well, died in 2014. Jules Bass, who regularly directed their TV specials and movies, became a children's book writer and serves as a consulting producer for Thundercats Roar on our sister channel, Cartoon Network. Fitting that Bass still works in television. Though the wacky world of Mother Goose is one of three Rankin Bass feature films we presented tonight, their version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which first aired on NBC in December 1964, remains their best-known production. It continues to generate big ratings every holiday season, still serves as an inspiration for tributes and spoofs. Many children who grew up watching Rankin Bass productions became filmmakers themselves, carrying on the craft of stop-motion animation. The Rankin-Bass influence can be seen in Tim Burton films like The Nightmare Before Christmas and Frankenween. The animation studio Leica continues to use labor-intensive stop-motion techniques for its features, including three incredibly well-received films, Coraline from 2009, Kubo and the Two Strings from 2016, and Missing Link from 2019. Up next, a TCM Extra. It's a 1943 MGM short that uncovers the true stories behind famous fairy tales in nursery rhyme mysteries.